This video is going to look at the history of the blues, as well as some features of the blues, and how they relate to Blues in Hoss Flat by Count Basie. Firstly, I'd just like to say if you're new here and you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing and supporting me on my Patreon page, which has lots of transcriptions, analyses, and music content for you to check out. Where did the blues come from? Well, the blues is a genre of music which originated in the deep south of the United States in the 1860s. It's rooted in African-American tradition, and its origin likely lies in unaccompanied vocal music created by slaves from West Africa. While no specific African musical form can be identified as a single direct ancestor of the blues, features such as call and response, which we'll hear in Count Basie's music later, can be traced back to Africa. One of the earliest recorded examples of the blues is the Memphis Blues, heard here composed by W.C. Handy and recorded in 1912. So what makes the blues the blues? How can we identify it? Well, as mentioned before, call and response is a big feature. Many blueses will have this element somewhere in their form. Another feature is using chords 1, 4 and 5, often in a 12 bar sequence. This is what I would say is the most identifiable element of the blues, as it serves as a platform to tell the story of the song. To show you what I mean, let's check out Blind Lemon Jefferson's Rising High Water Blues as an example. Back water rising, on, people can make no time. I said back water rising, southern people can make no time. And I can't get no hearing. From that Memphis girl of mine. So let's check out what he did there. He started by making an opening statement over chord one. Back water rising, sun on, people can make no time. Then he repeated this phrase, but the chord changed to chord four. I said back water riding, southern people can make no time. At this point, the audience has heard two statements with some slight chordal variation, a beginning and a middle, but the chorus needs an ending. So to finish, Jefferson sings a final rhyming line, this time over a new chord five, before resolving back to one. And I can't get no hearing. From that Memphis girl of mine. This AAB structure is prevalent in the vast majority of blues music, right up to modern jazz versions today. It's no surprise then that this structure is used in Count Basie's Blues in Hoss Flat. At this point, I'm just going to let this song play so you can all enjoy it, but there'll be some text annotations on the screen from me so you can reference the specific features we've mentioned. Hopefully you found this interesting, and if you have, feel free to give this video a like and let me know what you thought in the comments.